So uh, you may have noticed yesterday when Jane Goodall was talking, there was an image in the back of a star field with a little dot moving through it. That dot was asteroid Jane Goodall. So people ask, how do asteroids get their names? Well, there's an international astronomical union that manages names of things like asteroids and planetary features and things like that. And I'm pleased to announce that on April 29th, just a couple weeks ago, the International Astronomical Union named an asteroid after Lori Anderson. So the citation for this asteroid reads, Laurie Anderson, born 1947, is an American musician, composer, visual artist, writer, and director whose debut album was titled Big Science. Her work includes exploration of the intersection between art and technology and topics such as artificial intelligence. She was NASA's first artist in residence, and she says the last, yes. resulting in the production, The End of the Moon. And on the back, it shows all of your physical characteristics of asteroid Laurie Anderson. It's a Mars crossing asteroid, and it shows where it was on the date of June 5th, 1947, which is an auspicious date. Indeed. And April 29th, 2024, when it was named Asteroid Laurie Anderson. Now, when asteroids are discovered, they're not first given a name. They're just given a designation. In this case, this asteroid was designated 2002 LA-6. The LA-6 just says what time of the year it was discovered. LA, conveniently initialed for Laurie Anderson, auspicious. 2002 was not only when the asteroid was discovered, but when Laurie Anderson discovered that she was going to be an artist in residence. So all, all the numbers fit together. I wanted to uh, just read one short, ex one short excerpt from Laurie's book, All the Things I Lost in the Flood, Essays on Pictures, Language, and Code, which I think it, it's her time at NASA and I think really embodies the spirit of Starmus. She says, one of the things I learned at NASA was that artists and scientists have a lot more in common than I thought because scientists don't know what they're looking for either. And we approach this in similar ways. We get a hunch, and then we make something, and then we ask, what is this? What does this do? And we have to figure out some way to use it, or at the very least, find somewhere to put it. So Lori, next time you forget your name, you can just look up in the sky and find your asteroid, and congratulations, thank you very much. I'm overwhelmed, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh. I'm speechless, but uh, thank you, I can't thank you enough.